Charles Street Podcast, man. We back with another episode, you dig? So listen, man. Been taking care of a lot of stuff, man. man. Dealing with life. Man, and business. Getting a new studio, a new studio space together right now, you feel me? Getting that hooked up, we're gonna have a whole new new setup, new look. Um I'm you know, I'm driving everything, you know, under my production company, you know, where you at, where you at network, where you at production, so I got a lot um a lot more content coming, you feel me? A lot new fresh content, you feel me? Like telling you it's gonna be like the Netflix for the trenches like you dig but um yeah just getting everything set up you feel me but listen that, that's just business you feel me like, like that's just handling business like it's a process like a lot of people really started you know in a basement you feel me and then big buildings they on the stock exchange stuff like that a lot of immigrants came over here with nothing, you know, had nothing. Now, you know, they got some of the powerful, most powerful names in the in the, in the country. You know, you got the Rockefellers, the, um, the, the JP Morgans, the Carnegie's, like these were, you know, these were poor immigrants that came over and basically just, you know, re- revolutionized just business, you feel me, and like they name still ringing the day, you know, they basically, you know, a lot, you know, gatekeepers to a lot of shit, and man, a lot, a lot, it's a lot, and man, it's, it's, it's a few amount of real wealthy people that's controlling the mass, you know, the masses, but you gotta start, man. You gotta start from nothing, just like you know they started. And you just gotta, you gotta learn the business. You gotta be strategic. You gotta think ahead. And man, that's the only way you're really gonna survive. Just gotta be, and man, learn business, man. Learn the void. See, see what's the voids out here. See what what's needed, see what could be better, see what could be, you know, streamlined, see what could be branded. You could easily have a business, man. That shit is not hard. The only hard thing is, I would say, well, it's not, it's not really a hard thing. It's just expected. It's just that it's a process. So like nothing happens without a community. And when I say community, I mean like, a group, a large group of people backing, you know, behind something, they believe in it. Like the the like the Baltimore Ravens wouldn't be shit without the community, without, you know, all the fans that buy tickets and merch, buy liquor, you know, you know, alcohol and all that shit from the stands and you know, generates those um billions of dollars and that's just one you know that's just one team i'm talking about but it's, it takes a community to make that flourish so just you know you gotta tap into your community you gotta tap into your niche your your, your core fan base and you grow from there so like i mean even if you're a barber like you 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 ain't going to move up. You're not going to make no money like that if you don't have a community saying like, damn, yeah, I fuck with this barber. Yo, nice. You feel me? This, that, and the third. So now you could make more money because now the community coming to you. So this with anything. You got a mechanic shop. If the community ain't bringing their vehicles to you, like you're not going to you know, make no money. So 
the community is is what propels the person, you feel me? Like, it's the community that makes people stars, makes people famous. It's the community. It's the fans, you feel me? So just create a service, man. You service the community and it's gonna flourish, you feel me? So, like once again, man, this is, this is just a business lifestyle platform, you feel me? Like, and because of the country we in is like, you have to be business. And that has to be a lifestyle. And if it's not, you you know, you're just gonna, you're just gonna be, you're gonna be doing bad, you feel me? You're gonna be doing bad. But a lot of things, you know, it's perception. So now if, if you feel like you need these things and this, that, and the third, you going you gotta afford those things. So, you know, become a boss, become a businessman. But then you got certain people that don't want these things. Some people don't want a big house, they don't want a nice car, you feel me? Just get them a little, you know, a little shack somewhere, you feel me, in the woods or something, they good. It's all about perception. It's how you, how you perceive your life, how you want your life to be. And really, if your perception says that, you know, the life you live in is the life you want to live and you cool with it, you good, you content, well, you live in a, a rich life, you know, in your lane. Like, that's rich to you. Like, you feel me? It doesn't necessarily have to, you know, mean money or goods. Like, just living a rich life is just living a, a life that you want to live and you comfortable and you content. But if you out here and you want these nice things and nice, you feel me, you better boss up or else you're gonna be chasing that shit for the rest of your life. And then you pass down that same chase to your kids. So now they gonna be chasing that, you feel me? So like, if you learn how to boss up, you ain't gotta chase that shit. I'm telling you, man, these, these rich motherfuckers, they're not chasing nothing. They ain't chasing that shit. They ain't chasing bitches, none of that shit. You feel me, that shit just come to them. You boss up, man. You gonna attract whatever you want to you. That's what you gonna get. So you just gotta boss up, man. But um, um, I wanted to talk. Listen, on the next ep, look, next episode, man. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. Um, I think I'm a. I, I think I'm gonna premiere my um my new string on here. I don't know, I might, I'm still getting, you know, my packaging together, all that. So I might, I don't know. Um, but, you know, marijuana about the, you feel me? Like marijuana is about to be super legal. But, you know, there's them taxes, man. Them taxes. Fucking taxes. Y'all know what taxes is, man? Like, like if you go, say you go back to the old days, like, you know, medieval days or whatever, whatever you, just back, I mean, before, before money was being printed like that and all that, like, in your village, like, say you was poor or something like that, you had to, you had to pay tribute, you feel me, you got, you had to pay tribute, like, to the kings and all of them, so, whatever, whatever grains or, whatever harvest or whatever you, you know what I mean? You produce, you had to set aside some of that to pay, you know, to the king, to the emperor, to, you know what I mean? The top dogs. So it's really a tax, you feel me? They call it tribute. But now, you know, today is a tax, man. And let's see, we gonna keep it real, man. Like, that's what, once again, like I said, nothing can really run without a community. So like America not gonna be the America not gonna be the world power without the community, without its citizens. Cause it's them taxes that's funding everything. It's them taxes. If if the police getting some shit. And now they got a um, 
they got a lawsuit and they gotta, you know, kick out all this restitution. That money comes <laughs> from the taxpayers. <laughs> so it's like you kind of looking like, like damn, like how are they how are they even held accountable? Like, it's like how are they held accountable? And then you got like these wars. And they be passing these bills and it'd be like, yeah, well, you know, we just passed this, this bill and we're going to, um, we're going to give Ukraine 400 billion. We're going to give Chechnya this and all oh, that's taxpayer money. You feel me? So all the wars and all the countries that's, 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 I mean, that's cool, cool with us. That's because we pay for that. You feel me? It's pay to play out this joint. You feel me? All the friendships and alliances, they are paid for off the backs of U.S. citizens, man. So every time you go to work, every time you buy something, you do anything, you get taxed. Just know, man, <laughs> you the reason, you feel me? Like, you are the reason why America it's so called, you know, the world power, the number one world power because of the US citizens, man. All this is, this is off our backs, you feel me? So now we're gonna go back to perception. So now most Americans perceive like, oh man, we poor, you feel me? We in poverty, I mean, 50% this and it's a 1% and perception man so the perception is that we are the minorities we're the we're the poor this that and the third we just we, we just the taxpayers we citizens but if you look at it from the other perspective as nothing moves without you who really is in power Y'all so y'all sit on that for a little bit. Y'all sit on that for a little bit, right? <clears throat> <coughs> sit on that for a little bit, you know what I mean? Let's spark this up. And then um let me load up. Load up, cause this this gonna coincide with what I'm saying. Right here. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go into the um the classic movie review. So I'm gonna jump into um Godfather Part Two, classic. Part one, like all, all of all of them classics to me. You feel me? I mean, they kind of they got kind of long and drew out. You know what I mean, but they classics to me. You feel me? So um. Godfather 2, that's the, that's the movie, the classic movie, this, and the scene we about to review today, I'm about to play that. Repeat. Gusto, you got it. Johnny, you don't know my brother Fredo, do you, Johnny? Johnny Ola? Fredo. never met. Johnny Ola. Pleasure. Gentlemen, to a night in Havana. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Feliz Happy Año New Nuevo. Year. Happy New Year. Right, Everybody stands, but it's worth it. Watch, you're not going to believe this. Don't believe it already. Huh? Right, $50, right? You got to believe it. That's Superman.
That's gotta be a fake. That ain't no fake. That's real. That's why they call him Superman. <laughs> hey, Freddy. Freddy. Where did you find this place? Johnny Ola told me about this place. He brought me here. I didn't believe it, but seeing is believing, huh? I see it, and I still don't believe it. 50 bucks, Pat. Oh. Old man Roth had never come here, but old Johnny knows these places like the back of his hand. So watch him. He's gonna break the cracker with us. Break a cracker? I wanna see him break a brick. <laughs> Mike was so hurt, man. So hurt. And you know, you want to get we give a little backdrop for those who haven't seen Godfather to live on under a rock. It was an assassination attempt on Mike. Michael Life, you know, Michael played by uh, Al Pacino, you feel me? It was a, a attempt on his life. You know, he's a godfather now. It was a attempt on his life. So he trying to figure out, you know, where he come from. So, you know, they down Cuba. He got his brother, you know, down there setting shit up. He's still trying to figure things out. And you see how when the, the nigga came to the table, he you know, Fredo act like, you know, he ain't know who dude was. But he drinking, you feel me? He drinking, had a good time. They go to the next spot. He talking about, yeah, yo took me here. Yo took me there. His brother over here, this shit. And that shit crushed him. Now he know, you feel me? His brother, you know, was a part of, you know, betraying him to get him assassinated, man. His own flesh and blood. His big brother. You know his big brother had some jealousy against him because you know, I mean, he's a big brother. How the fuck he got an answer to his little brother? But you feel me? You saw how the alcohol had him talking and talking. You feel me? And you know, I went through this. I went through this personally. You feel me? Just having homeboys around and niggas a lot of drink. And when they get to drinking, they talk and they talk and you feel me? And they they they. They telling their true intentions and and you be hurt, you feel me? Because you saying like, nah, 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 this ain't true, this ain't true. But you saying it because they they so fucking juiced up and shit, they just running their mouth, just like Fredo and shit, running his mouth. And and just like how Mike was hurt, Mike and he had to put his head down like, damn, you feel me? Mike was hurt. But that's how I be. You be hurt. You feel me? You don't want to accept that shit. But y'all gotta start. Y'all gotta start accepting people for who they are, especially once they show you. Once they reveal who they are, you feel me? You gotta believe that shit, man. You gotta believe that shit, cause they gonna try to get you out of here, man. Motherfucker gonna try to get you out of here. That's his own brother, his own flesh and blood. Try to get him out of here, man. And that's going same thing going on today, man. The closest person, you find me, that person that know you intimately, they be the ones that get you out of here. So now, you want to be a wolf, you want to be a businessman. You got motherfuckers that when y'all grew up in poverty together, you feel me? Like y'all living in poverty together. You feel me? You got people close to you that is trying to get you out of here. You feel me now? When I say get you out of here, it's degrees to that. Now, depending on what type of lifestyle you live in. Now, some some chicks might they just they just might have homegirls. You feel me? But you feel me? They homegirls might just you know be jealous of certain shit that you know, that they got or they do or or look at something. And what she'll do is you know probably want to fuck all all all, all homegirl niggas or try to be you know talk about it behind her back. The whole thing is still trying to get her out of there, like get her out of that light, that natural light that she in from just for just being her, you feel me? Or then you got, you know, niggas that's hustling together and one nigga shining, getting more money, getting more bitches and all that, and then the next nigga, he want to get him out of there, you feel me? Like, so it's levels to get you out of there, but motherfucker want to get you out of there. So now, when you go into business, that's a whole nother level to get you out of there, you feel me? And it's like, if you don't learn from just your journey, like remember, most motherfuckers is as far as I feel like my my uh, my 
audience, I feel like we all, I mean, we from tough times, tough places and shit. So if you ain't born with no silver spoon in your mouth and you ain't rich and nothing like that, but you still got motherfuckers that hate on you, mind you, mind, like, like really think about it. Like you got a poor motherfucker, poor motherfucker. <laughs> well, let's just say just average, 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 you know, average, just average um, citizens, Americans, you feel me? Like, Niggas killing each other and doing all type of shit to each other. Ain't getting no money like that, you feel me? So if you ain't learn how to maneuver through not having nothing, imagine when you get a bag. Imagine when you get a crazy bag. You're not going to know how to move. You're going to be out here, you feel me? you probably be out here flossing, probably giving your money to this person and that person is giving your shit away. You're not going to know how to manage it. You're not going to know who to feed and who not to feed. Cause at the end of the day, man, it's always going to be somebody that's trying to get you out of here. It's just competition. It's just, it's just human nature. Like it's crazy. Cause I don't know. Like I feel like it's enough world out here for real, for real. But it's like, it's just motherfuckers. It's just certain motherfuckers just want the whole world. You feel me? Like, and they just ain't content with that, with what they got. Like they want everything, you feel me? So you have to learn how to maneuver around these people that think like, think like that and move like that. You gotta, you gotta really know how to, you know man? Cause they gonna get you out of here, man. They gonna really get you out of here. So when it comes to business, once again, man, like me personally, this how, this how I test my uh, people I want to do business with. This how you. This how. This how I check people. Like I do a little business, just a little bit of business with them. Get them a little bit of money. You feel me? Introduce them to a little bit of people. <laughs> then I watch how they handle that little bit of business, that little bit of money, how they move around them, little bit of people. I just watch. I sit back and watch. And people, and, and like most people reveal themselves, man. You feel me? They get to talking and talking and talking and moving and moving. And they just, you know what I mean? You just gotta listen and you gotta believe it when you see it. You feel me? So that's just, you know what I mean? That's just how to maneuver, man. Just in life, period. You gotta believe people for what who they show you. you know what I mean? If that's who they show you they is, that's who they is, man. You gotta believe it, man. Don't don't self sabotage yourself. Yeah, man. Thinking with this, you feel me? Cause your feelings are, are betray you every time. People learn and know how to manipulate emotions and use them against you. Like that's number one tactic. Just using human nature against. Yeah, man. So you gotta start really thinking, thinking with yeah, man. More than just. 10% of your brain, you gotta tap into you. You feel me? Stop following, stop hating, and tap into you. You feel me? And just, yo, know, you gonna give you all the answers you need. Simple as that, man. Simple as that. It ain't hard. You feel me? But listen, man. Got a whole new look coming. Hey, man, got it. Man, we, we about to go up, man. And it's a process, so like everybody that's been tuning in, tapping in, I appreciate y'all, you feel me? You know, I appreciate the community, you feel me? <laughs> but um, like I said, like what I'm doing is basically just, just giving the blueprint to this shit. And also as I'm moving along, you feel me? I'm, I'm just leaving the crumbs and shit, you feel me? It's just, his, it's like a, it's a history book that I'm making right now because God forbid anything happen to me, you feel me? My son could look at this. My my grandkids could look at this. My my friends and you feel me? My family could be like, okay, you feel me? I ain't really listened to them like that before. I ain't really uh, spent time with them like that before. But damn, the shit he kicking right here, all right, I can use this, you feel me? And I'm only kicking it because it's it has worked for me and it is working for me. It's like in real time, this shit is working for me. 
like people that know me know me know me like yeah they know come on like I done been to the bottom of the bottom and like this this whole ascent in rural time in this in my lifetime right now this shit is this shit is amazing you feel me it's really amazing cause like I'm only yeah man I ain't even really showing y'all I'm showing y'all probably like 1% of my life for real I'm talking about 1% of my life like this shit is amazing the shit you could do when you just tap into your mind and you create some your own world basically you feel me like it's like I'm a brother law for real <laughs> like that's how I carry it like I'm really a wolf I mean, I control my, you know what I mean? I roam when I want to roam at, you feel me? Like, I, I do what I do, you feel me? And it's just learning business because that's the country I'm living in. I'm living in a business country, this corporation called United States of America, you feel me? And man, I'm moving around, you feel me? And I, I learn, I, I know the language, you feel me? And it's just educating myself, you know, learning history, learning the present. And then you damn near can fucking predict the future. Wolf of Charles Street.